Hey guys, I am Shannon. I am a software architect in a USA company. In this lesson, we will create a Spring Boot application. Then we will deploy it to Heroku. We will go on step by step. Let's begin. In this section, we will create our Spring Boot application and we will import it to IntelliJ. To create a Spring project, the best way is using Spring.io. We can reach it from start.spring.io. First of all, we should choose our project type. Our project will be a Gradle project. But if you want to go on with Maven, you can choose it also. We will use Gradle because Gradle has easy configuration and better performance than Maven. Secondly, we should choose our language. Our language will be Java. Our Spring Boot version will be stable current version. Our group name will be com.sha. Our artifact name will be Spring Boot Heroku Deploy Demo. Last thing about project metadata is to choose the Java version we will go on with Java 11. Okay, that's all about metadata. Let's choose our dependencies. Actually, we will use only web dependency because we will use the model view controller structure on our service. Okay, that's all about dependencies. Now we can generate it. We are almost ready to start programming. Now we will import it to IntelliJ. In this lesson, we will go on with IntelliJ, but if you want, you can go on with Eclipse or other frameworks. Okay, now we are ready to start coding. To test our system, we will create an example endpoint. To create it, we will create an example REST controller class. For example, we can create a class like API controller under the controller package. To describe API controller as a REST controller class, we will add REST controller annotation to it. Then we will create a health check method. In the REST controller, we can define every method with response entity capsulation. Response entity is a capsulation that contains HTTP header HTTP status and response body. For our health check method, we will create a get mapping and our endpoint will be API health. Finally, we will return an example success message. Okay, that's all for Spring Boot project. In this section, we will create Heroku configuration on our project. Heroku has some basic configuration settings like name, build type, environment variables, etc. We can describe it under AppJSON on our project. First of all, 
we should create an app JSON file under the project. App JSON will be a JSON object, and in here we can customize Heroku properties. We can find all properties from the Heroku page easily. We can find it like app JSON schema. We can see all properties in here and the example format for it. Now we can describe our properties. Let's create first of all our file as app JSON. Our first property will be name. Then we can describe add-ons like we can describe log add-ons. Log entries is a beautiful framework for logging. Then we will describe build pack. We will use Gradle as build pack. Okay, these properties will be enough for beginning. In here, we can give more details about it, but we can handle all properties from Heroku interface easily also. Now, we will create a proc file for Heroku. Heroku apps include a proc file that specifies the commands that are executed by the app on startup. We can use a proc file to declare a variety of process types. We can describe our app's web server. We can create only a single web server. Actually, we can describe our app's web server. In here, the important thing is we can create only a single web server for our project. For example, if our project has multi-module and we want to create web server to all modules, we couldn't do it via Heroku because Heroku provides single web server for a project. Of course, we can scale them with load balancers. Secondly, we can describe multi types of worker processes. We can set environment variables on proc file also. Now we can create it under the project. We will have only a web resource in here, we will call Java exec command. We will use generated port number by Heroku. We will specify build jar path. To find it, we can build project from Gradle tab, boot jar. Finally, we should describe the Java version for Heroku. To describe it, we will use system properties.
First of all, let's create it. Then we will specify our Java version as Java 11. Okay, our Heroku configuration is ready now. In this section, we will create our GitHub repository and we will send our code to this GitHub repository. To do it, first of all, we will open our GitHub dashboard. Then we will click to create new repository button. Then we will specify our repository name. Our repository name will be Spring Boot Hiroko 10. Then we can set access rights. In here we will set it as public, but of course you can go on with private mode. Then we can create it. Actually, GitHub says what we do to import our code to here. First of all, we will initialize Git on our project. Then we will add items to Git. Then we will commit our code with a commit message. Then we will relate our remit repository with the project. Finally, we will push it to a branch. In IntelliJ, we can do it via command or we can do it via user interface. In here, our git commands are ready. So, we can use these commands from the terminal easily. In it, add, relate, commit and finally push calls. Okay, now our code is reachable from GitHub as public. In this section, we will deploy our GitHub project to Heroku. On Heroku, we can create free deployments via GitHub easily. First of all, let's open our dashboard. First of all, from the dashboard, we will click to the new app. Hiroki expects a unique app name. Our app name will be Sha Spring Boot Hiroki. App location is important for performance on other resources. Okay, now we can create our app. Now our app template is ready. Now we will import our code from Heroku. To do it, we will integrate our GitHub account we can give access to the GitHub account easily. Then we will search our repository via name. You can find it.
then we will choose it okay our deployment is ready now now we can deploy it from the master branch of course in here if we have different brands these all brands will be listed here we can see the log details from the deployment part or from the right top of page Okay, now our deployment is ready. Let's check it from resources tab. First of all, we should restart our page. Okay, under the resources tab, we can see web application like we described then from the settings tab we can reach to our Heroku application URL okay now our deployment is ready now we can test our endpoints with our Heroku URL Our test endpoint is API Health. Okay, everything looks perfect. That's all. Thank you.